We're here today to celebrate the launching of a new karate organization, the California Shotokan Kankokai. It is the coming together of various dojo from around the state to witness and join in this organization. The ultimate purpose of forming this association is to ensure that the principles of Kenkojuku Karate Do, as established by Master Okano, continue to be taught and spread in our dojo and to their future students, and secondly, to form a coherent, standardized organization that will help us in achieving this end. Kenkojuku's core principles which are inherent in all Sensei Funakoshi's dojo-kun, are also symbolized in and by the patch that we wear on our uniform. The first and foremost principle being humility, symbolized by its center ideogram, meaning a class in learning how to be a good person. This is not a self-effacing humility but rather one that shows respect for others first, which reflects the respect for oneself. Second is that of helping each other to train and to grow, symbolized by the pair of crossed pine needles. And lastly, by the green color of spring, to continually grow and learn, symbolized by the evergreen pine needles. Without these core principles, our Karate Do would at best be just another form of exercise or at worst, a dangerous weapon liable to misuse. But with them, we may learn, poise, dignity, and courage. So we are here today to honor the memory of our founder, Tommaso Buro Okano, by establishing as he did in his lifetime our own independent organization in Shotokan Karate Do. As Master Okano took what he learned from old Sensei Funakoshi and went on to build on that foundation his own unique Karate Waza and school under the Shotokan umbrella, so today we too endeavor doing the same. For each succeeding generation standing on the shoulders of the previous one, develops through their efforts their own unique craft, one that will, with time and steady training, be just as good, if not better. After all, what greater tribute is there to our predecessors and to the art of karate? While we declare our self-reliance and independence, we feel a spiritual bond and fondness for our Kankojuku cousins in Japan willing to maintain an open communication and looking forward to one day hosting a gathering, a grand taikai with them. As for my own journey in karate and the path of the way, the do, which has now lasted for over 50 years, it has been an eclectic one. While my foundation rests on Kenkojuku Shotokan Karate, I have come to learn that the way the Karate Do is much greater than any one style. To think otherwise would be, as the Zen proverb metaphorically states, pointing a finger at the moon and mistaking the finger for the moon. My study of the philosophy and practice of other fighting forms has only made my discipline fuller and deeper. And to come to understand better what Master Okano meant by saying that the martial arts Karate is a fast track to spiritual growth, that if one trains diligently, consciously, and consistently, insights into what we truly are, spiritual beings will begin to manifest. So for me, in truth, it, Karate, has been simply a means to an end, a journey of discovery, taking what I've learned from Master Okano making it my own, and forging my own path toward self-discovery. My passion for the art has sustained me, and by teaching others, watching them grow, and becoming teachers themselves, has helped 
and keeping this passion alive. There is another Zen saying, a caution, which is apt here. It states, do not follow in the footsteps of the ancient sages, rather seek what they sought. So heeding this advice and to this end, I'm honored to help this organization to not only launch, to set its sails and give it a heading, but to also acknowledge by awarding rank certification to the sensei here today who've been at the helm for so many years and have gone too long in being officially unrecognized for their service and contributions, not only to Kenkojuku and their students, but to their communities as well. They have, to continue with the seafaring metaphor, been doing the job of captains without the title. I'm here today to remedy this. I also want to thank you for this honor and of selecting me as your first president. I look forward to sharing whatever knowledge and expertise I have with you all. Karate should be seen as a lifelong journey, one that never ends, and with time, effort, and steady training, rewards those who persevere with mastery and to come into possession of what the Chinese say is a pearl of great value. Looking out at the faces of the beginners I see here today, I am reminded of what it was like at the start of my journey to see it come full circle. For in the beginning we aspire to become masters, but in the end with mastery we aspire once again to see our art through beginner's eyes. And when we do finally end our journey on this earth, we will be given the answer to only two questions. What did you contribute to humanity? And how did you treat your fellow beings? Hi. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Thank you all very much. Us. Take it all the way